In this video, I'm going to do an example of how to find a derivative using the limit definition or just the definition of the derivative. If you've taken a calculus course before and you learn some shortcut rules for finding derivatives, I am not using those shortcut rules in this video. This video is to demonstrate the definition of the derivative. All right, so let's say we have a function f of x is equal to x squared plus 3. And we want to find the derivative at 4. This, what this notation tells me is I want to find the derivative of the function at 4. So our a value, essentially, is 4. So let's start by writing the definition of the derivative. The limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x, all divided by h. And so we're going to do this definition piece by piece. So first of all, let's find f of x plus h. So f of x plus h is going to be equal to x plus h quantity squared plus 3. And now what we want to do is take f of x plus h and subtract f of x from it. That would give us the entire numerator. So that's going to look like this. f of x plus h squared plus 3. Put that in brackets and subtract our function x squared plus 3. And now I'm going to simplify that. So we have to expand this binomial. And I have a quick math video on reviewing how to do that. And then add the 3. And then distribute the negative. And then let's simplify that a little bit more by, by canceling out these terms that have opposite signs. And so what we're left with is 2xh plus h squared. Well, the next part of the definition of the derivative is to divide all of this by h. So we want to take our f of x plus h minus f of x and divide it by h. So that would be 2xh plus h squared divided by h. And what that's going to give me is... First of all, we can factor out the h from the numerator. And again, there's a quick math video on factoring. The h's are going to cancel. And so what I'm left with is 2x plus h. Finally, we want to take the limit as h approaches 0 of the difference quotient. And so that means we want to find the limit of 2x plus h. Find the limit as h approaches 0 of 2x plus h. Well, as h approaches 0, this just becomes 2x plus 0, or 2x. So that is our derivative. Our derivative is 2x. All of this is equal to f prime of x. Now, we want to find f prime of 4, I believe it was. So we simply substitute in 4 for x, and we have 8. So that is how you use the definition of the derivative to find the derivative of a function.